let us now focus on this particular quarterfinal. High Spirits are Chill Monk and JJ Schmidt versus Tilo Tilo. All right, early death necklace, which will be pretty darn useless, I would imagine. Uh, torch and some gold. So some, yeah, some nice things here to, to get going. Let's see what we have in the treasury. Well, we've got some big bucks. We've got a cursed belt. And an alleged other cursed belt, but looks like it's a torch. I think it was an herb. Or was that an herb? That's right. The torch was in the yeah. uh, in the throne room. See, I'm already getting crossed up. <laughs> All right, Tilo Tilo doing a reset here. I think he's setting up for a gold grind, possibly. Either that, or he might be setting or up a cursed for a cursed belt grind. Belt grind. Yeah, yeah, because that is one way to ensure that the princess takes a cursed belt is to just fill up your inventory with cursed belts. High spirits in a flash going from level one to level three. Those magicians are juicy, but they were in the last seed. They are tonight as well, or in this this particular seed also. Uh, Cyberdark86 asks, did anyone find a curse belt in the first seed? Nope. And no, and no High Spirits is not dead. He is just playing a dead sprite. I believe that is a ghost from... I want to say that's the, the DW3 ghost, maybe? Uh, yes, the DW3 ghost. I think it's the only ghost that there is. Well, apart from the enemy, the ghost, but that's a whole nother story. All right, so High Spirits makes his way into Garenham. Uh, I don't think I've managed to see what Tilo Tilo has in the back of Sherlock Castle. Meanwhile, High Spirits getting bodied out of those treasure chests in Garenham. In the back of Tanagel is the Jerk Cave, and in Garenham we've got big bucks, big bucks, and a set of wings. Be interesting to see if High Spirits does a slow grind here, if there's anything good in the Garenham weapon shop. Looks like High Spirits is in Swamp North. Heads on through to the other side. Meanwhile, a little grind going on for J.J. Schmidt. For a minute, I thought Tilo Tilo was about to put on a curse belt for himself. JJ and Tilo trying to find enemies to kill to do a little bit of a grind here. Archfield Monk has also gotten up to level three. Ooh, Scorpions are looking pretty good at 196. Yeah, that's that that's a nice juicy kill. Scorpions and Magicians so far look to be the, uh, the the early winners here. And Red Slimes aren't too shabby either. Oh, I took the words right out of your mouth. <laughs> Vulcan in chat asks, what's random? Uh, well, let's see, what's random? Uh, <laughs> the map is random. The enemy XP, the enemy gold, the weapon gold, the enemy skills. Treasure chest can... Uh, the, 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 Oh my god, my brain just completely left me. The contents of the treasures, um, the amount of XP it takes to get from level to level. I think I hit the major ones. Now let's see here. The overworld map, the treasure chest and search spot contents, the locations of the towns and caves, the contents of the weapon and armor shops, the order in which they learn their spells, though they're guaranteed still to learn all t 10 spells by level 16, the enemy locations, the enemy spells and abilities, and for this specific tournament flag set, in addition to all that, as if that isn't enough, 
Holy smokes. There's also the prices of the weapon shops are random. The weapon and armor shops. The enemy's golden experience are randomized. And you'll see that they'll be earning experience at a very fast rate in terms of leveling. And no keys are required. Charlock Castle is short, so you go right down to the 7th level. It is open as well, so you don't need to mess with all that Staff of Rain, Stones of Sunlight, Erdrick Token, that, none of that. Plus, we've got Fast Text and Speed Hacks, which is why people are going up, like, three levels just in the time that it took me to explain all that. Well, we finally do have levels 5 and 6 obtained on High Spirit's side, and Archfield Monk. Uh, JJ and Tilo are still doing a grind to get there, JJ being marginally close, closer than Tilo. But we do know that somewhere between level three and oh, looks like level three is oh, level somewhere between three and five. The hurt more sp more spell appears. And now high spirits looks like working on that grind as well, going for the scorpions. So, I guess if you kill a ghost in this seed, is it a pity kill or a spite kill? Because they only get five experience. Yes. Gotcha. For sake of argument and anecdotal reasons, we'll say both. <laughs> <laughs> and we have JJ finding Garenham. We'll find his big bucks and whatever the hell, the wings. Um, did you happen to catch the contents of the Garen Ham weapon shop? I did not, but then again, I blinked. All right. Oh, high spirits finding two towns, high, uh, Garen Ham and whatever the heck is next to Garen Ham. We're being told that hand axe and magic armor were cheap. There's apparently a flame sword and chain mail there as well. High Spirit's selling the Death Necklace Ooh. to get 1,200 gold. That's quite the, the sale there, so he's going to pick up a Flame Sword. Nice and cheap there. A pretty decent discount. We'll, we'll see if it's the sale of the seed. Thank you, Game Boy, for the, uh, the plug of the sounder. High Spirit's again getting bodied by the NPCs. About ready to probably throw them through the wall. Perhaps. And it looks like High Spirits is going to go pick up a princess. After getting another level or... Yeah, with just one level there. Hmm. A golem. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, nope. Sorry, Princess. You might be hanging out a little while. Yeah, and if you take a look, our stats at level 9, if you look at High Spirit stats, not so good. I mean, yeah, they got plenty of MP, but strength, agility, HP, definitely subpar for this point of the seat. I would say so. Now, mind you, I say subpar and we're 8 minutes in. Just, uh, uh, yeah, there, there is that. But, you know, it's that whole gotta go fast thing. Apparently we have a Sherlock sighting somewhere. I'm guessing it's on... JJ's? Okay, so chat saying that JJ Schmidt found Sherlock somewhere. And go figure, I missed it again. There's a lot to keep track of, and there's four screens going on at the same time. Like trying to watch all the screens in NORAD in the movie War Games. Mm. I was going to say, do we get to see this town that's on the other side of Garenham? Golem says, nope. Not yet. All right. 
Right, so we have High Spirits doing some grinding. I think we have JJ doing some grinding. Okay, so we have JJ getting into the second town here, which we now see to be Hawksness. You know, with the Hurtmer spell, I'm a little surprised JJ doesn't at least take a gander at that spot, because if it's the sword, if it's the armor, or the fairy flute, um, those could be big finds. And the fairy flute might actually be preferable, given what we know about the guardian for um, the princess. Yeah, it's certainly not a bad idea. Because without a sleep spell and without a heal or heal more spell, I mean, really the best the best hope you got is put the thing to sleep and hope it, you, know, you can wreck it. You have high spirits grinding, chat hypothesizing that high spirits is grinding until heal more. Given that it is the golem that he's probably wanting out of the way, my guess is, yeah, he's grinding to heal more. That's my guess. Makes sense. Yeah, and he can just basically treat the golem like, you know, a, dra a dragon lord fight. You know, heal when you can and attack when you can. Mr. Holmes in chat putting the complete uh, jinx on this seed saying <laughs> in before golem heal more oh man mr holmes if the golem has heal more i am blaming you All right, so at level 15, though, if you take a look at high spirit stats, nice high agility at level 15, 84 agility. That's actually really nice. Yeah, and who that golem is packing a punch. 37, 29, 33, but takes care of it for not the max 255, just 117. Definitely not worth the effort, but there is the princess who is worth the effort. Because she must be. And we do have an armored knight here on the Hawksness grind tile. And it is the fairy flute. Ooh. Which we know will be quite helpful. But High Spirit's realizing that the cursed belt is there in Tanagel. Is going to do a little bit of a belt grind going to do a belt grind. He's going to use up all his herbs and probably win the seed via the Cursed Princess method. Well, the, the herbs can stay in. Those are separate from the other eight slots of the inventory. So he doesn't have to use the herbs, but he has to clear everything else out. I always get the herb confused in this flag set. I don't know why. Yeah, the herbs are irrelevant, as are if they were on magic keys. Those are both separate in the right. inventory, but right. yeah, anything else, the, the, the torch or uh, fighter's ring, dragon scale, those are the things that need to not be in the inventory. JJ Schmidt finding the uh, bonus cave, which is also a cursed belt. High Spirits run out of HP to cast Return. Is that why he's walking now, I think? Possibly. Yep. Yep. Six, yep. Eight, only has six. He'll yep. do it. You need eight. Yep. And JJ Schmidt also doing a Cursed Belt grind, but doing it in the cave next to Hawksness, the, 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 the bonus cave. And Archfield is going after this golem here. 
oh, this is this could be a close finish depending on how many more belts High Spirits has to get. If if Archfield can take this, oh boy, this could be Ooh. really close here between Archfield and High Spirits. Well, there's no keys in this case. He's got keys all the are not required, so we don't have to worry about it. Looks like High Spirits is going to take this one by seconds. So that looks. And like there a, we go. That looked like a fifteen forty one to me versus a fifteen forty fifty. 15, uh, nine second ish difference between High Spirits and Archfield Monk. Wow. Wow. Woo, that was. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was a heck of a finish. And it looks like JJ's about to pick up the princess here. So, and I know, I know he has a. Full inventory. And here we go. It looks like JJ is going to cast outside, cast return, and return the princess to the king with cursed belt, full inventory. So the first race, everybody did three's company. The second race, it looks like everybody's lining up for cursed princess wins. And there we go. J.J. Schmidt finishes with the Cursed Princess. Is that 1708, I think? And I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. Tilo also has an inventory full. So Tilo is going to be maybe 30 seconds behind. Roughly. And here we go. And Tilo is going to do this at 1743, it looked like. Whew. Couple of real close races there. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, something. <laughs> we still got at least three more races to go. So it looks like it went chalk except for one of the races. <clears throat> no idea which race that was. No, no idea. Yeah. Boggles the mind. All right, so we have our semi <laughs> we have our semifinal matchup set. We have High Spirits versus JJ Schmidt, and we have Cyberdark86 versus Brian Williams. <laughs> 